Daniele Gates and Johan Geronimo are being discussed among 90 Day Fiancé fans after the 90 Day Fiancé, the other way season 4 premiere, as viewers doubt that the marriage between both cast members will last. Daniele and Johan previously appeared on Love in Paradise, the Caribbean, and were married before joining the cast of The Other Way. However, viewers have noted many glaring red flags and troublesome lies in their relationship. Daniele and Johan made a splash during the 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way season 4 premiere, as Daniele became the most called out cast member on social media following the episode. Daniele made a highly controversial decision, as she promised Johan that they would move to the United States after his paperwork went through. However, she then decided behind his back that she wanted to permanently move to the Dominican Republic and manifest a living there. When a shocked Johan expressed that he wanted to escape poverty and earn a living in the U. S. Daniele harshly told him that the American dream was dead, and she wouldn't help him achieve it. Is Daniele Gates a new 90 Day Fiancé villain? On Reddit, user UJGIO199 completely slammed the other way season 4 newcomer Daniele for her treatment of Johan. Viewers were shocked by Daniele's lies and voiced that she married Johan on false grounds, since she promised him a life in the U.S., and clearly had no intentions on providing it to him. I can't stand her. She's being so manipulative, thinking she can lock him down over there after he clearly married her so that he could come to the U.S., one angry viewer wrote. I think it was very disrespectful of her to tell him there's nothing for them in NY and that the American dream doesn't exist. It might not exist for her anymore, but it does for him, another user chimed in. Is Johan Geronimo another 90 Day Fiancé fraud? While many 90 Day Fiancé viewers have been preoccupied with putting Daniele on blast for her lies and magical thinking, Johan has also been called out. Daniele's friends voiced their concerns that he was a Sankey Panky, or a Dominican man who is using a foreigner to get to a new country. One fan expressed that while Johan wasn't a user, both he and Daniele had too many flaws to have a successful marriage. However, other fans doubted his intentions. The thing is, in Lip, she claimed the plan all along was that she was moving to the doctor, and that he twisted things to say they were moving to the US so he can give all of his money to his family, one user shared. If that's true, she should not have married him. So, at this point, they're both using each other and are delusional. Overall, Daniele and Johan's relationship promises a lot of drama for the upcoming season of The Other Way. While both Daniele and Johan show strong possibilities of being frauds and Daniele has already proven herself to be a liar, viewer perceptions of the couple could easily change throughout the season. Right now, the majority of online comments have been calling out Daniele, and voicing their sympathy for Johan. However, 90 Day Fiancé franchise fans are often quite harsh to cast members who leave their American partners after they arrive in the U.S. Currently, it is unclear how much of Johan and Daniele's relationship is real, and what is a con from either end. Source, UJGIO199, Reddit.